What's up guys? Craig Mack, Liberty Bell Beekeepers. Out on the trail today with the dogs and figured I would take this opportunity since we're almost in March and everybody's geeking out trying to get their stuff ready and talking about swarm trapping. Now I'm at a place that I have chosen for setting out swarm traps. Now there's a couple of things that I like to look for and there's all kind of advice and people catch them everywhere up in trees on the ground you name it you can catch them all kind of locations this is one i happen to like this is a set of woods that has been here a long time that's one of my first that's one of my first uh requisites old woods old trees undisturbed land uh that's what i try to look for uh, that's not to say that you can't catch them downtown in a city because you can but this is one place that i like to go because I like to bring the dogs out and get myself out. Uh, but let me show you what's going on. So over on this side, we have a retention basin. Uh, this is a pretty good indicator of what our rainfall has been like. When these, when these, this little, these couple little ponds here are connected, there's two ponds. And when, the, when it's been raining and we got a good amount of water laying around, they're connected. When it gets dry, they stay obviously evaporate down and it becomes two ponds. This happens to be in a stretch of power lines. Now I've seen quite a few videos of people swarm trapping in power lines and they claim it to be kind of like a highway for the bees. It gives them open flight path to get from one place to another without uh, any inter interruption, you know, flying through trees, what have you. Now this little this little wetland area gets a lot in the way of wildflowers, goldenrod, echinacea, uh, dandelion, of course. Um, so it's a great forage area. And what I did was I just hung my boxes right along the edge here, right along the edge of the woods, right along the edge of the, the clearing for the power lines. Um, and I pulled two swarms out of here in boxes last year. Now, this, if you go all the way down the end, it turns to the right. It's like a, fig, uh, a letter L. And it goes probably another half a mile before you hit another road. And on the other side of that is a natural lake, Silver Lake, here in Bristol, Pennsylvania. Um, like I said, I took advice from a couple of videos that I saw in power line scenarios like this. Uh, great forage here, a lot of trees, a lot of maples, some black locust, uh, as well as the wildflowers and things that I mentioned earlier. Um, yeah, and I picked a nice swarm up out of here, a couple of them. Uh, I do know that there are, the other half, this is kind of a park, the other half of this park where Silver Lake is, I know that they keep colonies there. For educational purposes and i believe that i picked up a swarm from them uh it was a small swarm not even the size of a volleyball um but those bees are still going uh as of right now so just did a quick video to show you one of the places that i like to go not only for my own for my own head and my own uh, purposes of taking the dogs out and enjoying the weather, but also a place that I put swarm traps. Come on, Coop. Come on, Coop. Come on. So, just made a quick video. I want to show everybody. I know we're all getting excited. I know I am, and every time I walk through these woods, I'm always looking up at the trees and checking out the the plant life and seeing what's happening and waiting for those buds to start we've been having pretty nice weather here in pennsylvania down in philly uh the trend the last couple weeks has been 40s and 50s through the day 30s at night and then we're having three or four nights below freezing we've got another week like that coming at us so not quite ready not quite the season probably still have the full month of march before we're really trapping swarms and, and starting to do splits and what have you, but everybody's getting the itch. And I uh, figured I would throw a little video out there just showing a little bit about my swarm trapping experiences. 
I'll be making more in some other locations, but to reiterate some of the main points that I like as far as swarm traps, old woods, near water, morning sun, afternoon shade. Uh, I don't think it matters which way the entrance is facing. I caught them in all directions. Um, but getting the box warmed up first thing in the morning makes a big difference, especially uh, to get the bees active and foraging first thing in the morning. And there we go. Thanks for watching. As always, check us out on social media. Keep an eye out on videos. We'll be doing more and more as the days get closer to spring. And wish you all the best of luck. Enjoy your day. Get out there and enjoy the outdoors if you can. It's one of my favorite parts of this whole experience. Just getting outside more and more. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy.